What's up YouTube? This is HDD Recovery Services and today I'm demonstrating a recovery procedure on this uh, 8 gigabyte flash drive made by Corsair. This unit uh, comes in this little sturdy rubberized case which we're gonna have to cut open in order to get access to the device. If the unit is plugged in, and which I'll demonstrate right now, it doesn't give any signs of life. This LED light should be flickering and it's not. We don't get it recognized on the computer either. Um, there is no software really that would be able to work with the uh, physically non-functional device. So if the unit is not recognized by the system, we're not able to extract data from there uh, until the further things are done. So let's go ahead and open this up. For that, I'm going to use just a utility knife and just begin cutting it from where the connector starts and just carefully cutting it down, making sure that the circuit board does not get harmed. It comes out fairly easily. The only thing that I do notice here is that uh, the silicone that was supposed to be holding the device in this housing is um, all around where the components need to be. So for something like this, I would highly recommend using a microscope and clean it up before this goes into the reader. This procedure is not a do-it-yourself type of procedure. Don't get mad, but this is just sad reality. If uh, the device is not recognized on the hardware level, uh, there is not much that I can really recommend to do in order to get it running. Uh, aside from getting uh, these connections tested and maybe swapping out the oscillator crystal and also checking out the uh, resistor on power input, making sure that the resistance indicates the proper equivalent. But uh, this unit, as you guys can see, has a controller chip and it's got two memory components. So before we start removing anything, I always go ahead and I mark them. So this is going to be our component number one. And this is going to be our component number two. All right, so once uh, the component is cleaned up, we can go ahead and uh, begin the soldering process. finished reading both of the chips both of them had four banks each so we end up with eight parts in the end So I'm happy to say that this recovery went awesome and we got everything done and the client is extremely happy. So if you guys found yourself in a similar situation where your flash drive does not register on any of the computers, you tried flexing it in the USB port, it's still not getting recognized. You tried all that software that people promised to work on the internet and it's still not getting it picked up. This is the way to go. You have to remove the memory. You have to work directly with the source of the memory, bypassing everything else that might have been failed on that printed circuit board of the flash drive. So unless you have access to an identical flash drive that was bought at the same place at the same time, and as you guys can see uh, in my previous video, which I'll post in the description box, 
uh, having access to a donor flash drive like that may resolve your issue. But if you don't have a donor flash drive that is identical to yours, uh, recovering data off the chip might be the only option. So if you're interested in getting your information back from the flash drive, contact information is on the screen right now. And I uh, really hope you like this presentation. If you did, hit like. If you haven't subscribed to our channel already, do so, please. And I will gladly see you next time. Thank you for watching. <laughs>